quick summary what I showed today. Okay, one, I'm dealing with knee show. Okay, I go hand on the rib cage. I spread my knee, I bring my knee up, walk back to center, elbow on the inside, open, come through, drop my head, underhook, slide through. Back your butt up. Okay, side control. Next one, okay, say I'm here, instead of cutting through, I'll go all the way to the other side, hand on the rib cage, spread my knee up, bring my knee through the center, walk back to center, elbow inside. I want to wedge through, but he's not allowing it. I bring him to the other side, drop down, bring my knee through the back side, Okay, establish base, pin his leg down, underhook if I like behind. Millions of ways of doing this. Get the underhooks, drop right in the mouth, or side control is also good. All right. You ready, bud? Yeah. Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? And today is Veterans Day. So I would like to say happy Veterans Day to all of you guys out there that are veterans, uh, served in the uh, military, and also throughout all different types of, different ways to serve the country. Thank you guys so much for your service. Um, go USA. That's all I got to say. What do you have to say, buddy? This guy's exhausting. <laughs> he's he, he's done. He's done, guys. When you do two a days, um, it's hard. So Brian's Brian's wrecked, and I made him stay so that we could got, show you guys some cool knee shield stuff. So somebody messaged me. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I got an email from you. Uh, said, Coach, how do I pass the knee shield in half guard? The knee shield's giving me problems. It's a problem for a lot of guys, and I'm not saying I have every single answer for you guys. Remember, it all depends on who you're up against. If you're facing a really good opponent and the guy's a killer with knee shield, knee shield is a bitch. It can be really hard, but I'm gonna give you some good ideas today. Hopefully it'll help you pass the guard of that, that uh, annoying knee shield you have in your room. So check it out. You know what knee shield is? Okay, land your back. All right, guys. Now there's different types of knee shield. Um, half guard, some people will do a locked knee shield with their body sideways, oh, the knee just penetrates my stomach. And you see, he's gonna dominate this side of my body. And like, I can't go forward. He's stiffening up this femur right into me. That's one way to do it. Some people do it unlocked with a low position. I don't think it's nearly as good. People get smashed. And then you have the, what I call the high knee shield, which is what we've been personally working in our room. You keep the, the knee up upright, you put your elbow on the inside, you have your elbow on the inside, and then he can frame and control this opposite side right there, okay, right up there. And now, it's hard for me to smash the knee shield, to crush this down. It's all supported, he's in a good position, even if I roll that out, you can go to the inside of the biceps too. Yeah, right there. See, I can't like, now I can't roll that hand, you're still pulsing on me. So this is a tough thing to deal with. And even if you have a guy in the low position, it can still be hard, especially somebody like Brian. I mean, like, hit the, the length he has in his body, I cannot, like, lean down at all, and he's laughing right now, okay? Because it's way more effective when he does it, okay? So, first things first, guys. Don't go into the knee shield. Don't fight the knee shield. So, let's go ahead and play a high knee shield. I don't know what he's up against, but don't play this high knee shield running into it anymore. You're not gonna get anywhere doing this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left leg and I'm gonna spread my knee back like this, okay? So once I move my knee back, I'm gonna pick my other knee up and I'm gonna put it here, okay? Go ahead, you have half guard. I'm gonna pick my knee up and put it here. I don't like to step this leg up because the guy could pummel under your leg, okay? And if that happens, he's gonna start attacking your legs and you're gonna get off balance. So what I do with the knee shield, the guy's framing me, he's in framing position, I spread my knee back and I pick up my knee and I put it here. You're gonna have to keep your half guard. It doesn't mean you have, you were trying to find me. Mm -hmm. You can't, uh, I'm just gonna take it out. You feel that? Yeah. Okay, look at this guys. He tried to find me with his foot, okay? So even though you can't find, you can still hold it, almost like a Del Hiva. So when I go here, yeah, like that. Now he can use his foot like this and that's fine for him. That's a good little control. You don't have to get too close. So now once, 
Once he's here, he's in good position, and I'm in good position, I put the knee up. Next time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pulse right here on his rib cage. And then I'm gonna take my, my left hand and I'm gonna scoop under his knee, and I'm gonna pivot. See, I scoop under his knee, and now I'm gonna push and walk him and take him back to center. Because I can't go forward. Going forward's not gonna work, so I'm gonna scoop under his knee, and now walk back to center. Once I walk him back to center, I'm on my toes on both legs, my left, right hand that's in the rib cage, I'm gonna maneuver the elbow so I connect my elbow to my knee. Okay, right here, this is connected. And then once I'm here, it's now time to wedge in between the guard. So once I'm here, you can try to close your knees if you like. I'm gonna to start to wedge and force my way through. Once I do that, I wanna keep my elbow in and I wanna bring my shoulder down, okay? Once I bring my shoulder down, he's gonna be trying to frame you away because what he wants is he wants to bring his knee up and over like that, either his leg or his knee. He may, that's a little harder to deal with, is the leg, or he'll bring his knee. So what I need to do, you see how I can't get my elbow in? Okay, I need to walk him back to center, elbow in, force my way through, and then when he's trying to frame me, I'm gonna drop my head on top of him, like this. So my head is in his jaw, and now his left leg tries to come around, and it's difficult, okay? Now I'm wedging my leg through, and the way I do this that is different than most people is I like to surf and put my butt right on his inner thigh. When I do that, like this, I'm very heavy on his thigh. He can't like make me off balance like I'll let you. Yeah, like I, he can't do that to me. I'm gonna be down and I'm gonna be here trying to move. See that? And now that I'm heavy, I'm cutting my leg out. So even if his foot was trying to hold my ankle, I'm cutting outward as I drop this one into the underhook, if he has a frame, I drop right through there, I pull up on his arm, and I slide through. Once I slide through, I always teach you guys this detail, I back my butt up, because I want to push his hips the other way. So I push off my feet, and I back my butt up to make his hips face the other way so I can go back to my knees, get the cross face, and get position. Okay? So, stop running into the knee shield. Don't run into it. The guy's framing you, don't run into it. What I do is I control right here against his rib cage, I spread my knee and I put my knee up. Once I put my knee up, I pivot and I scoop under his knee and I walk him back to center. Elbow on the inside, start to wedge between now. I bring them apart. I don't do this when he's in the side position. You can't open this. He's too strong, too good with the knee shield. Walk him back to center. Even if I was here and you were clamping, walk back to center. Wedge through the center, drop your head. Once he's trying to move me and make me off balance, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm dropping my head, I'm getting my underhook, and then I'm cutting my knee out. Again, notice my butt sliding on the inside of his thigh, controlling his elbow as best I can, trying to get inside here. As I slide and I kick through into like a uh, modified Keskatami, I'm gonna go ahead and push with my butt to back my butt up, to turn his hips, and then get up here into side control. Get your position. Okay guys, um, really important. A lot of people try stuff like, like leg weave. They try to bring their hand through here. Okay, and you stay there. I'm bringing it to you. Here, see, a lot of guys will do this, but you, when you run here, if you wanna try to make this work, you don't wanna just run into the knee shield again. You have to stand up on your feet. So once I get this position, I stand up on my feet and I cut my leg out as I slide it. The problem with this, if you don't have a grip with your left hand, the guy will just keep you off. Yeah, just like that. And then as I go here, you'll go head away. And then now it's, we're chasing him. I have to roll this and try to control his wrist. If I could get his neck, I would take it, but usually you can't get it. I try to pin the wrist and I try to drop my head on the guy and be on my toes. If I can get to here, maybe I can drop my head and, and come into position, into this position, get to his neck, get my knee in, there. That's one way to deal with it. Out of the leg weave, you can also jump sides. One of the biggest details of doing this though, guys, is get off your knees. Don't be on your knees. If you're gonna leg weave, go right here, control his wrist if I can, if the guy's not letting me, you know, push me away. See, I roll my hand, I come get his wrist, stand up, knee slice. If I'm coming in through here, 
and he starts pushing my head down, for example, and I'm here, I'll cartwheel over to the other side, and then I'll come out this way, okay? See that, Eric? So now, as I'm here, I still have that wrist, come up into side control, ready to go here, okay? One more time on that one, for knee shield, you know, dealing with knee shield. You can't run, can't get through this knee shield, and you guys wanna go leg weave, if I'm here, I gain some control, stand up on my feet, knee slice cut out, as I'm coming around, you're trying to, yeah, you try to go there, I cartwheel over, limp on my arm, and come under the neck, okay? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of using the leg weave as much anymore. It's a little bit more uh, older school style. You can still use it, it's not wrong or right, but you okay, Eric? No. You're like breathing a lot. <laughs> yeah. I can just imagine the comment section. So anyway, <laughs> so when we're here, you have the leg weave option. option. Now I'm gonna show you guys one more that I really, really like. This is your, uh, kind of like when Damian Maya passed Ben Askren's guard. Pulse on his rib cage, guys playing knee show, same thing. This time, I'm gonna walk him back to center. When I walk him back to center, I continue to walk. I pin him to this side, okay? Once I pin him to this side, I'm gonna, as I drop down on top of him, I'm gonna bring my knee through. See, right here, okay, around here. I bring my knee through. Once I bring my knee through, my foot is here. Once I'm here, make sure you don't slip your leg through and give him a knee bar. See the knee bar? Okay, and don't give him the honey hole position. So you guys, if you ever bring your leg through, like if you bring this leg through, you have to make sure that you're ready to sprawl and you're controlling the guy with the cross face and you're here so that he can't like invert or do anything to come get you, you know? Otherwise, you guys can keep your foot like this, stapled, okay, like this. If you keep it stapled, he's framing me away. I'm just dropping him, staying down like this, okay? You guys can push this leg to the mat, you can step on it, I can do a uh, hook underneath like this. There's all kinds of ways that I can control this and then run back the other side and get into side control or maybe even a gift wrap and taking the back. So with this one, this will be the last one I'll show. Again, guys, I could show you like knee shield stuff all day. I love to work on this stuff, but I wanna go for, uh, stay where you are here. Good, I'm, I'm right here. I wanna bring him back to the center. See, as I bring the guy back to the center, okay, I bring my knee up, bring him back to the center. My elbow's in, right? Instead of cutting through here, maybe he's like not letting me or whatever, or you turn to the other side a little bit. I can't cut this way. See how I can't cut? Yeah, so now I just go drop this way. Once I drop this way, now Eric, watch where my knee goes in the backside. Okay, come around here. Watch how my leg goes. My knee goes through, see? My knee goes through the back. Now I'm ready to go now. Now I can drop down. We can pin, we can get our leg behind his leg. We can do it a lot of different ways. The more I do this, I'm stressing him out. I can pummel under right here, get a cradle, walk back, okay? There's lots of ways you guys can kind of uh, pass the guard once you get there. This is what Damian Maya basically did. It was on the other side, but you basically step over, you step over the butterfly hook, and then you just bring the guy smash down to the side and put the leg through, and you get him going here. And then this is also really good to go to the mount. You guys can get him here. Bring your knee through and go to the mop. Okay? So, one time real fast, we'll do a quick uh, summary. Quick summary, what I showed today. Okay? One, I'm dealing with knee show. Okay? I go hand on the rib cage. I spread my knee, I bring my knee up, walk back to center, elbow on the inside, open, come through, drop my head, underhook, slide through. Back your butt up. Okay? Side control. Next one. Okay, say I'm here, instead of cutting through, I'll go all the way to the other side, handle the rib cage, spread my knee up, bring my knee through the center, walk back to center, elbow inside. I wanna wedge through, but he's not allowing it. I bring him to the other side, drop down, bring my knee through the back side. Okay, establish base, pin his leg down, underhook if I like behind. Millions of ways of doing this. Get the underhooks, drop right in the mount, or side control is also good, okay? Leg weave style, old school style. Much more old school right here. Bring the leg weave, dominate the wrist, dropping my head. Stand up on your feet, cut your knee outward, not forward, but out, not forward. Cut it out, once you slide it through, 
If you can gain control, gain control. If you struggle to gain control, sometimes I'm in this position, I slide through as I'm trying to get through, front load the other side, limp on my arm through, dominate side control that way. Okay? Is that enough for them? Did we give them enough? Yeah. Maybe we could show one more. Nah. I'm gonna give them another bone. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bones. All right, guys. Happy Veterans Day. Again, thank you guys so much for contributing to, to this channel. The links are down below in the uh, description box, Patreon and PayPal. If you enjoyed this video, if this video helped you get better at your jujitsu, your nogi grappling, whatever it is you guys do, your catch wrestling, this video made you better, please contribute to this channel. Give me a thumbs up. The channel's still growing every single day. We're getting lots of new views, lots of new subscribers. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Send me more messages. Let me know what you guys want to do. I still have a ton of things on my plate, but I'll get to it eventually. Thank you guys. I'm out. You ready?